Hey, fatty! Today I'm going to be talking about cheat meals and why you're a big fucking pansy if you need to have one. Let's get started. What does it mean to need a cheat meal? Well, <laughs> the word cheat has basically a negative connotation or a negative stigma everywhere else in society, yet we can use the word when we're talking about our diet. It doesn't make much fucking sense to me. So basically, most people need a cheat meal when they have a bad diet that is not curing their carb or sugar addiction. So the reason their diet is shit and doesn't cure their carb or sugar addiction is because they're still eating carbs and sugar. And they're eating throughout the whole fucking day. So then, like I've talked about before in my other videos, how eating six times a day fucks your metabolism. And then my body, when I get low on glucose, I don't freak the fuck out. Where these people freak out and they'll basically like need to have that fucking high stimulus cheat meal after a while. Simple as that. Their diet fucking blows. Okay? Number two. You're living in a state of unhappiness if you need a cheat meal. Because that means that all the time that you aren't cheating, how can you be truly happy? Obviously, you're not the highest vibration or the best version of yourself if you ever have to cheat. Okay? It's the same as when you're in a relationship. It's like you're being a good little person for six days a week, yet you have to go and fuck the neighbor every Saturday night. It's kind of the same thing. You're, you're, you're not, you're fucking, you need the stimulus. You're still addicted to the stimulus. No matter how long you go without it. Because you haven't really beat the problem. Like if you talk Gandhi, he just didn't cheat. He didn't cheat on anything. Because the guy was like fucking the highest vibration type of person you'll ever fucking ever like read about. Ever. Like he would sleep with women and not have sex with them just to basically develop himself even more. Fast for days. You know he had no crutches. No crutches. You never had to cheat. This is where you want to get. This is the best version of yourself you'll ever get to. So, lastly, my snake diet is essentially a form of sugar addiction rehab. The reason is because you have to beat your sugar addiction just to fucking do the diet for a week or you'll fucking, you'll never make it a week. Okay, because it's high fat, the eating window is tiny, an hour to an hour and a half. So, the diet itself builds character. That's probably the beauty of eating the way I do. The diet actually makes me fucking tough. Because I can fast and you can't. I can go a long time. I'm, very, I'm, a, I'm an extremely capable person. I have no crutch to food. That's the coolest part about doing this. It's like you just, it feels like you're just badass. Okay, so that's my little spiel on cheat meals. So don't fucking cheat. Everyone have a great day and get that fat in you.